The Okavango Delta is one of the few habitats that the red lechwe thrives in. There's another small area up in Zambia, but numbers, sustainable numbers, only occur here in the Okavango Delta. The lechwe is a white-tail-sized antelope closely related to the water buck. It has long, narrow hooves that splay wide to support it in its swampy habitat, and sweeping horns shaped like an ancient Greek lion. Guess what, Mark? One's got a busted horn. One on the left is doing this. Though. Yeah, no, he is. We're gonna try and stalk on this one. Yeah. Okay. As you hunt a leshway here in the delta, you're, you're using these boats to get around in the waterways. And then when you spot game, then you get into a spot and stock scenario. And it can be difficult to get close to a leshway. They're very wary. Uh, leshway also find themselves in these water habitats, so it's very difficult to sneak up on them if you're clogging through uh, water with your hunting party. So it's, a, it's just a very different experience. Hunting red lechway is very unique, you know, in the sense that you're, you're basically wet all the time. You know, you're walking through water, uh, crossing rivers, floodplains, uh, making these stalks on these animals that you see often at five, six, seven hundred yards, and you need to get in close to get a shot. And the only thing you got to worry about is the hippos and crocs. We're gonna have to try to get up on them. Okay. There's one, there's one. There's, that doesn't look too bad, but I wanna get a better look. We're gonna try and stalk up on them. Yeah, there's a bunch of young males, and then there's one mature one, but I can't see how big he is. Just kinda of stay down. Keep your, get, keep your gun down on him. Johnson, right? You can see him off there. Just kind of stay down. Okay. Yeah, Fogger sticks, Fogger sticks. Come walk, just get on him. Okay, you see him? Yep. He's moving across. He's, he's, uh, he's the second one, second, second one yep. now, you see him? Okay, he's just crossing that tree. Okay, we're gonna have to move up. Stay down. Okay, fire sticks, sticks. Okay, Mark, come on, get up on him. Can't yeah. tell, I can't see which one it is yet, but there he is, there he is, okay. He's the second one, okay, get on him, he's the second uh, one. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's gonna stop, okay, when he stops, I want you to take him. Okay, he's looking at us, He okay. turned his head to yeah. us, right? You on him? Yep, I got okay, him. When, when you're on him, go ahead and take him. Okay, I got him. He's gonna go down. There. All right, good shot. Okay, thank you, Jim. <laughs> thank you. You, you worked you, you worked for that one. That yeah. was some work on. <laughs> Come on, let's get up on him. He's down. For this hunt, I brought a, uh, a Saco rifle, and I was shooting the 370 Saco, uh, which is really a ballistic improvement. Uh, very close to a 375 with some ballistic improvements. It's in a short case. The bullet I used was the Barnes triple shock bullet. It's a great bullet. You get immediate upset, deep penetrations. Uh, it, it's a bullet which works on a wide variety of game and I chose to use it um, on this hunt and it performed very, very well. Good job, Mark. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's beautiful, isn't it? Very nice. It's got nice hooks, comes forward. Starts to come forward, yeah. yeah. And, and mature hard all the way down the horns here. So this is one of the things you look for, is this hook coming up and then start to go forward, right? Correct, yeah. yeah. And width is always nice, but it's not, it helps with the score. But yeah. then just to have him hard horned all the way, nice mature animal, big heavy bull. Well, well great, done. all right, I appreciate it. Glad you got it. Thank you very much, Jeff. The largest inland delta in the world, the Okavango is one of Africa's natural wonders. And for some 30 years, it's been P.H. Jeff Rand's territory and where he hopes to find host Chris Dorsey, a sesame antelope. You know, one of the things I really enjoy about traveling and hunting is, is finding new animals and new locations and 
They're really kind of studying these animals, whether it's a lechway here in the Okavango Delta, really kind of only found here, at least this red lechway. Then you find something like a sesame. The sesame is a large antelope in the heart beast family. Its species name is Lunatus for the shape of its horns that look like a crescent moon. Even more dramatic than the horns is its hide that is a purple brown shade and glossy to the point of iridescence. It's an antelope of savannas and floodplains like the Delta where Dorsey and Ran are hunting it now. Yeah, you can see him. You see him just on, on the horizon there. You can see that. That's him. You're gonna have to stay down low. Looks like a male right at the back. There, isn't it? Where's the bull? He's on the left. He's on the far left. Just get on him. Okay, he's, he's behind that one. See the one? He's looking right at us. He's looking right at us. Okay, but he's got that one. Job. No, no. He's got to move. Now let's move the cut. Let's get Let's move up. Chris, Chris, on the left? Yeah, that's it. Foreground or background yeah. on the left? He's on the far left. The two together. He's, he's looking at you back over his shoulder. Yeah. So you to yeah, one, that one behind him. Behind him. Yeah, yeah. Let him move. Okay, he's coming clear. Okay. Here we go, here we go. You're on him. Go ahead, take him. Let's get up on him. He's hit hard. Felt good. Yeah, no. It was the right one, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the beauties of Africa. You come here, there's just so much. There's so much on quota, so many opportunities around every bend is sort of a new experience. You make a little stock and uh, funny, they didn't have the same thing in mind. They decided they wanted to sort of evacuate pretty fast. We chased these things all over the plains, do another stock on them. This time, I think it was, they were just sort of I don't know, used to us or whatever. They gave us a much easier shot and picked out a nice bull on the left side. Beautiful bull, I mean, just super heavy bases. Very, very old bull comes up. Make a perfect point of the shoulder shot. Exit was just perfect. He goes maybe 50, 60 yards. Even that was shocking to me though. These animals in Africa are incredibly tough. You see a 300 grain bullet go through an animal that's 300 pounds and watch it run off after it's hit the point of the shoulder. It's amazing. I'll tell you what, it's the first time I've ever seen these things. So they're just found here in Botswana, pretty much? In Botswana, the uh, Zambia, up through Namibia. Oh, is that right? Botswana, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Is that right? First time I've seen them though. I've been in yeah. Zambia and I just haven't seen them before. Yeah, up, mainly up uh, Benguela, Lake Benguela is where you see them. I gotcha. They're really beautiful. I tell you what, they're a whole lot more substantial than I thought they would be. You know, they look a little bit bigger than an Impala and you get up on them and it's way bigger than an Impala.